Hey guys, welcome to the first case study supplemental video. This video goes over exercises that I prescribed to an actual professional Overwatch player when I helped him address his wrist pain. And he had been dealing with the wrist pain in the area shown for about six months. And this video specifically helps you understand how to perform the exercises. But if you guys want to learn more about how I holistically helped him approach the injury, you can click the link in the description below. Let's get started. To begin, this is one of the most important exercises given to the professional player. The purpose is to help him build endurance for his muscles to tolerate longer periods of play without tissue irritation. To perform this exercise, we always want to start by setting up our base. And that means bringing our chest up and our shoulder blades back. And we want to focus on bringing our wrist up towards the ceiling while our elbows are straight. Maintain the grip on your left hand and begin the movement with your wrist all the way bent down as shown. Move your wrist up and down slowly for each repetition. For endurance, we are performing 20 repetitions for two sets. I ask the player to perform the exercises two to three times a day. This is another exercise to help with the athlete's wrist endurance. And again, we wanna start by setting up our base, just like the previous exercise by bringing our chest up and our shoulder blades back. This exercise uses a dumbbell with a six pound dumbbell shown here and is again focused on the movement of bringing the wrist up towards the ceiling. I asked the professional overwatch player to take two seconds to move up and two seconds to bring it back down for each repetition. For this exercise we again want to develop endurance so I ask the player to perform the exercise until fatigue that means until he got tired three times a day. And I asked that he perform it aside from his playtime because I didn't want him to fatigue his muscles prior to gaming. I also helped him understand that he would likely play slightly less overall as a result of this endurance work. This next exercise was prescribed to help the player improve his posture and shoulder position as he plays. And the pro tended to keep his shoulders tilted forward. This exercise is great because we can perform it using the support of any table. And to begin, we want to always ensure our mid-back is set up, but also that we stabilize our supporting shoulder, the one that's pressing into the table. Then, using the other arm, we will be drawing the letter Y, focusing on squeezing at the muscles shown here, your lower traps. Raise your arms up to the plane of your body, as shown, and then bring it back down. It's important to properly position your shoulder during the entire exercise so we can retrain the proper position of the shoulder while you play. And I asked the pro player to perform the exercise for two sets of 12, two to three times a day. Because the pro player is both a wrist and shoulder mover, this exercise is an additional shoulder prevention exercise because it targets the muscles that allow your shoulder to move the mouse, which are your rotator cuff muscles. This exercise requires you to lie on your side with your neck supported, but it's also very important to place a towel underneath your elbow to ensure the muscles at the shoulder are in the proper position to begin the exercise. Again, we're gonna be using a dumbbell, this one being six pounds, starting with your elbows at 90 degrees. Rotate your shoulders up towards the ceiling as shown. And remember to not rock your shoulders back, but only rotate as if there's an axis going in between your shoulder and your elbow. Again, we want to focus on endurance as we need to ensure the player can tolerate repeated loads throughout a scrim or long gaming session. I ask the player to perform three sets of 12 for two to three times a day. This was another exercise given to the player to focus on both posture and to work on the rotator cuff muscles. As always, we start by setting up our base with our chest up, shoulder blades back. We add some tension to the TheraBand by wrapping it around your wrist. And then you just rotate your shoulders out, bringing it back slowly. Again, we're trying to work on endurance and retraining the position of the shoulder so that the player sits more naturally with his shoulders set back. And I ask the player to perform two sets of 15 repetitions two to three times a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video includes all of the exercises that I prescribed to the professional Overwatch player in his rehab program. I also include some additional stretches, but you can find those in the article with their own respective videos. So don't forget to click the link below to check out the article to see how I more holistically manage this uh, specific pain pattern in Overwatch.
So check out the full case study in the description below. There's two parts. One goes over the general approach that I took along with the prescribed program and exercises. The second part goes over a lot of things you have to understand during the rehab process that are often overlooked by doctors, even some physical therapists. Oh, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to continue to support me on this adventure of mine to keep our community healthy, you can donate to me with one of the links in the description below. Thank you guys so much and look forward to more case studies coming out soon.